the right place. The Alan Cox Show. On 100.7 WMMS. That'll get you in the mood. We'll get to the Bill Squire Friday get down here in a minute. Officially get the weekend underway. A Guardians pregame. Guardians live. Pregame starts around 640, 710. First pitch tonight. Uh, first of three. The last home series of the regular season against the Houston Astros at Progressive Field. What's it doing out there? Is it raining? Is it? Um, I haven't been out of the studio in a minute. Um, uh, I haven't either. Yeah. But uh, right, it's just kind of cloudy, but uh, it looks like the rain's not coming till late tonight, so they should be fine. Windy. Well, okay. Kind of muggity. <laughs> muggity. <laughs> muggity. It's a little muggity out there. And then October the 5th. Mm -hmm. October the 5th. I plead the 5th. We'll uh, start off the uh, postseason there. That'll be a Monday night at uh, Progressive Field. And nope. then, I'm sorry? Uh, the fifth is Saturday, Saturday and Monday. Yeah. Okay. That's <laughs> the seventh is the Monday. And this is about that's all, that's all I got in me. You want me to start that weekend? Boy? No, a few more minutes. Okay. A few more messages I got to play. Oh, by the way, I think uh, speaking of people checking in on the iHeartRadio app, we used to have a bureau chief in uh, Dan used to be in Pyeongtaek, South Korea. I don't know if he still is. I think occasionally he checks in, but he would do. He was doing like military contracting or something like that over there. And I was reading a story, you know, that we laugh, but this is a big deal over there, where the South Korean government is going to have to compensate all of the dog meat farmers because they've set that ban. Mm -hmm. I think it's funny, and I don't know if it's just to let people get their affairs in order, but we do it over here too, where they go, we're finally banning this mm -hmm. in 10 years. You know, they're in 2029... Anyway, South Korea passed a dog meat ban, and it's going to take effect in 2027. So they can't slaughter or breed or sell dogs for human consumption and get prison time if they do. Um, and so the government is going to compensate these, what amounts to being a rancher over in South Korea. Um, they're, they're trying to incentivize them to stop down their business before the ban takes effect. So they're like, hey, we'll give you between uh, $170 and $450 per dog. And the farmers want a lot more than that. They want $1,500 per dog. How many dogs do they have? Um, they got a lot. A lot of dogs. Like 100 or like 1,000? Doesn't say. Um... There are approximately 466,000 dogs in the country farmed for food. Oh, my God. South Korea remains the only nation with industrial-scale dog farms. So whereas we have, like, the Tyson chicken plants and stuff, you know, over there it's dogs. What kind of dogs? Delicious, like tasty. Oh. No, are they, like, labs or are they, like, um, chihuahua? Like, like, what type of dog are they breeding? Probably all kinds. All kinds. This is so gross, dude. I'm like really uncomfortable. Well, to me. us. Yeah. To them, us eating chicken is probably gross. They're like, chicken? Uh, I have one of those running around my house. That's my pet. It's all strange. And so the farmers obviously are like, no, I want no $450. I want $1,500 a dog. Because they say it's going to uh, destabilize uh, their economy. I don't know how much of the South Korean economy is dependent on dog meat, but it's, you know, in Asia, this is a centuries old thing. So it would be like if there was something over here that we had done, and our history doesn't even go back that far, something we'd done from the birth of our nation. That uh, this, is, this is probably what s the abolition of slavery was probably like this. They weren't uh, using those people for meat. But it was a big economic shift. And so the South Korean government's going to start dismantling farms. Take down all the statues. 
They're going to take down all the dog statues <laughs> and all of the famous dog farmers, and they're going to try to transition them to other agricultural things. Hey, you got to pivot from dog. Yeah. There's going to be some rough times ahead. Rough times? BillSquire.com for tickets. Yeah. Uh, they do say that most South Koreans no longer consume dog. So it's very popular publicly, this ban. They're like, yeah, we're not out here eating dogs anymore, so. Well, they're breeding and farming them for someone. Yeah. So they're liars, or maybe, they don't know they're eating it. Maybe exotic meats over here. If somebody was like, man, this is really good, what did you make your chili with? And they said, dog, you wouldn't eat it? No. No. Oh. I'd probably leave. You'd leave? Yeah. If I was at somebody's house and they told me that, I'd be like, all right, I got to go. What if you ate it, and then you said, it's so good, what is this? And they said, it's golden retriever. <sighs> it's black lab. Not shadow. Mmm, <laughs> yummy. It's husky. You go, well, you know, I would never have voluntarily consumed a dog, but now that I have, I can say that uh, I've got some thoughts on it. I ate dog in the Philippines. Right, you did. Mm -hmm. And is it, you know, everybody goes, oh, it's kind of gamey. It's kind of. Yeah, it's beef-like. Be it's beef-like. Mm -hmm. Well, it is literally beef-like, but th th that's what the flavor is too? Yeah. What is the best cut of dog? I don't know. I only had like one piece. It oh, you did? Like, was it like on a stick? A, it was uh, in like a, I don't know, like a, like a wrap. sauce and stuff. Like, like a broth? That. No, like, like a dog wrap. It was, it was in a sauce and it was over rice. Oh. I, I didn't eat like a whole meal. I just had, I, they're like, you won't eat this. You're American. And I was like, I'll eat it. And I ate it. And it was weird. I didn't eat it again. Mm-hmm. What would Whoopsie think if she knew that? She'd be like, give me some. I don't care. I'm a dog. <laughs> Cannibal I dog. Yeah. Nope. She'll never find out, Mary. If you keep your mouth shut. I'll tell her right now. I'll she'll... go home. I'll be like, I ate a dog, so you better stop humping me for dominance. <laughs> <laughs> you think humping's dominant, try eating. I'm going to take a bite out of your ear. Mm -hmm. Yep. Alan, it sounds like the South Korean government is barking up the wrong tree. I, I get I'm what you're doing about. out yeah. there. I get what you're doing. They are literally trying to stop fetch from happening. Hmm. Ha. Fetch is never going to happen. Fetch is never going to happen. Hey, y'all, this is Joe. I just wanted to let you know I, I love the show. Uh, I'm kind of I'm a lonely guy, so I listen to the show every day. Well, I work on my wood projects, and it just keeps me going throughout the week. And so I always look forward to Mondays coming because I know I can listen to the show again. And, uh... Oh, who am I kidding? You bunch of homosexuals! <laughs> I like that people are doing bits now. Yeah, I love it. I love uh, it. Mm -hmm. Who am I kidding? Uh, thank you, sir. I, um... I knew that that was a fake uh, accent. I was just, I wanted to see where we were going to go with it. I liked it. It was fun. I liked it, too. You got to like give a homosexual. <laughs> <laughs> you bunch of, you know, again, I, I, I have to uh, wonder why that is uh, the thing that he's drilling down on. But, um, you know, bits can really go off in, in different directions. You never quite know. Oh, uh, I was reading this morning. One of the people involved is a male escort or something. One of the guys involved with a Diddy freak off tape mm. has submitted it to prosecutors so that he himself will not be prosecuted. So uh, people involved in prosecuting Sean Puff Daddy P. Diddy Diddy Dirty Money Combs uh, now have a freak off party tape in their possession. The man was a sex worker who had direct knowledge of one of the parties. So he signed an immunity agreement. He said he was hired, his claim, is that he was hired to participate in a threesome with Diddy and a, and a woman. 
is pretty cool though to be a sex worker and have immunity. You don't have to wear condoms anymore or anything. <laughs> no, that's a, that's not what that is. No oh, legal that immunity means. bill. No. Oh, okay. But who wants to be in an MMF threesome? I mean, seriously. Hey, if you're getting you're paid. Di- but you're did no, no, not the guy. He'll do whatever. But Puffy. That's what he seemed to be into. He liked, he liked. He likes dudes. He liked everything. Yeah, so I like a lot of things too. But I want it to be two girls, not another well, guy so and a girl. You're not bisexual. You're then. not Diddy. Well, it doesn't. I, I don't know that the guy said that Diddy was doing anything with him. But there's it? all sorts of stories about Diddy doing dudes. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Reginald Bell Johnson yeah. for one. Yeah. Uh, the man also dished on what type of drugs did he allegedly like to use during the sex sessions? AKA Probably poppers. poppers. As well as details about one specific encounter he claims was caught on tape. Okay, mm. so that means gay stuff then. Yeah. Uh, he claims he flew from Atlanta to Miami for the party, which he said occurred in May of 2023. He said Diddy filmed his participation and that he has a copy of it. Uh, that tape is the one he report- reportedly turned over to the federal authorities and of course diddy's you know a lot of people are like oh this is gonna be an open and shut case because there's like 14 women who've come forward a couple of them saying he knocked knocked them up whatever but his lawyer is basically going with hey these were all consensual these are all grown adults doing what naked grown adults like to do but suge knight is out there saying like Better lock this guy up. Of course, Suge Knight. I mean, he's got nothing to lose. Uh, Diddy's ex-bodyguard said uh, he was doing to other people what was done to him. That's learned behavior. That Diddy was just uh, theoretically... watching you, Dad, defense? (laughs) He was just continuing the uh, cycle of violence, as it were. Suge Knight also said Diddy isn't the only one with videotapes of famous people doing disturbing and in some cases illegal things at Diddy's parties. Is nothing sacred? Can you not be a famous person anymore without people? I mean, if you were a famous person, I'm talking about, it'd be different if this was the mid-90s. They were talking about 2023, where everybody has had a camera in their phone for a long time now. Would you ever go to something like this and I get that people are horny. No, because we weren't invited. <laughs> no, but like if you were. Hey, Bill, uh, here's a here's an engraved invitation of one of Diddy's freak-offs. You gonna go? I mean, pro- wouldn't, who wouldn't go? I'd go and see what's going on. Somebody's yeah. like an a list. Somebody's got stuff leave. to lose. Like, Yeah, but this wasn't, I, I didn't know they were Illegal stuff happened in parties until now. <laughs> Twenty twenty three, I'd probably be like, "Oh my god, I get to go to a Diddy party." Yeah, this seems crazy. Well, there's a lot of people in those pictures. Yeah, white parties and all. What's well, the kind of threesome I want? But what you know, girl. F F M. That's the best kind. Well, the best kind is a foursome with an extra F, or or a fivesome, whatever. Mary likes a one-on-one. She's over there on the laptop with Brian. You know how it goes. Nothing to do with any of this. You want to start the weekend, William? Hey, everybody, have a drink, have a drink, have a drink on me. Should have asked Mary. Hey, everybody, have a drink on me. Hey, hey, everybody, drink on me. Brother, let's see how. All right, the Bill Squire Friday Get Down is how we officially begin the weekend here in honor of the late, great Murray Saul here at WMMS. Take it away, William. It's Brian! Gotta go. 
We got to go. We got to, got to, we got to, got to, got to go. All right. Thanks for hanging out, gang. Be back on Monday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday next week. We will be here. Live. Live. What do you have coming up, William? Uh, you got to, got to get to the funny stop. Uh, the 11th and 12th of October. BillSquire.com for tickets. Everything else I got going on at BillSquire.com. Mary Lynn? Also going to be at the Funny Stop October 18th and 19th. And then uh, Mary Santora Comedy on TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. 